What is up, everyone? All right, we're on another adventure today. And uh, we're gonna check out the Louisville Zoo again. I know, you're so surprised, right? <laughs> well, either way, I'm here with a purpose. I'm not just coming here randomly, although sometimes I do. But, uh, you know, it's a baby boom around here, so I gotta check out all the babies, right? So we'll see if uh, we have any luck today and uh, we see some of these that might not be as easily seen. But uh, we'll have a wander and see what goes on. So welcome to this adventure. Well, the good thing about today is it's a Saturday. The weather's actually pretty nice. It's been like 100 degrees for like a week and sweltering humidity. So now it's like 70 degrees. It feels a lot better. So this is like a huge win. Although on Saturday, you know, the zoo is uh, packed. But that's all right. Tomorrow's Father's Day, so it'll be worse tomorrow. Especially because on, uh, on Father's Day, they actually let in fathers for free. So it's pretty nice bonus. So if your father, you know, check and see if your local zoo has something like that. I think a lot of them do actually, but I, I know here at the Louisville Zoo, they do it for every Father's Day. But all right, we'll just keep looking around. See the geese are out. You see the geese? Maybe, maybe not. Let's see if we have any luck and uh, see if the uh, sloth is out on the exhibit. Oh, and it is. Looks like he's uh, sawing logs though. Know. At least it's on exhibit. Alright, well, as uh, luck or non-luck would have it, looks like the uh, Wallaby walkabout is closed, which is really what I was wanting to check out. Because they have four new Wallaby Joeys that I really want to photograph, maybe get some video of. But uh, I don't think it's going to happen today, but maybe we'll get lucky and open up later. So we'll check back here in a little bit, see what happens. In the meantime, we can still see if we have any luck with other animals that I know will be interesting. So we'll have a wander back kind of where we came from and head over to where the American cats are. There are some other babies there and they're in the nesting box, but I don't know if the, uh, the kittens have come out or not, but we can go take a look and see if they did or not. So let's go check that out. Kind of coming up on the American Cats exhibit. Not with anything to bother you about, which is cool. There's a bald eagle. There's a bald eagle. the links out at all. There's the nesting boxes though. So they might be in the nesting box. But we can't see anything. So that looks like that might be a bus. Alright, let's see what else we got. See the mountain lion either. All right. Let's 
so far it's uh, not been going super well for <laughs> finding what I'm looking for. That's all right though. That's the way it goes to the zoo. You can't help what happens in most situations. Animals are out sometimes, animals aren't out sometimes. You know, it's the luck of the draw really. But I mean, that's half the fun, right? You know, you never know what you're gonna see when you come out. All right, let's go over to uh, something I know that should definitely be out. And we'll see if uh, we have any luck there. What is that, like fourth time's the charm? It's at least three times. And one thing that sucks about taking shortcuts is here, it's basically on an incline. And I'm out of shape. But, you know, maybe if I keep doing this enough, I'll be in better shape, right? That's at least my ongoing theory. <laughs> Got some Abex. Looks like he's out uh, grazing. Pretty sure these guys normally live on the uh, African savanna. Like I indicated earlier, you never know what you're going to get with animals, right? So sometimes if you're really wanting to see something and you know that they're out, but maybe they're not in a proper position or they're being lazy, just hang out, watch for a while, take in the scenery, relax. Eventually they'll come around probably, at least with certain species. Um, like right now, we're just hanging out, waiting for the zebras to come around. Hopefully the baby zebra will come a little bit closer and we get some cool footage of the baby zebra. So this will be like a monthly update for the baby zebra. If you remember we went, we went a month ago-ish when it was nine days old and uh, I showed you some footage of it then. Got some really solid photographs. I was tickled to death because, you know, I love some babies. But uh, looks like it might be wandering over here. Let's give it a look.
at that cuteness. stays in the shade like I should be doing. That was an awesome and unique view of the baby zebra laying down in the shade, you know, like I should be doing. <laughs> it's not moving around a whole lot, probably because it's hot, even though it's not too bad compared to the rest of the week, but still a unique view. Having to climb all over stuff to get those shots for you guys, but we did it. Should be pretty neat. All right, we're on the move again. Let me see what other animals are out. Hopefully some of the ones that I don't see all that often or usually snoozing will be up and awake today. We'll find out. Here's short. Alright, let's have a wander over towards the gorilla forest. It'll probably be, uh, for lack of a better term, a zoo or packed. Because it's, it's always a pretty popular area inside where you can see the uh, gorillas in like this 360 degree habitat, which is pretty cool. You also have stuff like the uh, pygmy hippo over here. So, you know, we'll see if the pygmy hippo's out. Because, you know, hippos are cute, right? If not anything, we maybe see a little bit of the gorillas. Maybe see Candy. Candy is the youngest of the gorillas. I think she's like four or five now. And I came out to see her when she was a baby as well. So now it's interesting to see her growing up. You know, happens fast. All right, here comes the hippo enclosure. And it is asleep. In its normal position. Yep, this is the normal view you get when you come to see the hippo. Oh, he's moving though. Maybe we get lucky.
Let's see how packed it is. Was that? Got to see the big male gorilla. He's having his lunch that I apparently interrupted. He looked at me like, hey, what's up? What are you doing? Why are you holding that thing close to me? <laughs> All right, so we've had enough of that. So time to go see what else is going on around this place. Well, might as well check out the meerkats, right? They're always entertaining. on lookout. <laughs> oh, <I> rolled over. <laughs> well, somebody's working on their tan. <laughs> so far what's been your favorite animal of the day or in general comment down below 
And here we are coming up on uh, the elephant exhibit. You see a ton of people around. And there is Fitz way off in the distance. Yeah, all three elephants are actually out. I don't think I've actually seen that. That's actually Fitz in there with uh, Asian elephants. So I guess they've gotten acquainted. So when Fitz was first born, they had him separated. And he was just with his mom, Mickey. And uh, they stayed apart for a little while. So now they're all together. Fitz is doing something on the ground. Babies are always doing something funny. Very seldom do I see him laying down. Oh, it's in a hole. Knock, knock. The one in. He used to do this as a baby too, I remember. So, nobody's gonna let me in. Helps out with fits too, it looks like. who is still enamored with sticks.
bring it up for about a you know a few seconds. And the giraffe is out feeding. Baby goose are still, or geese, are still wandering around. They're still quite fluffy. And there's one of the ringtail lemurs. Kind of hard to find. Little midi. guys that's gonna do it for today so I'm a little worn out so I want to get out of here before it gets too hot but hopefully you uh, enjoyed what you saw and if you do I'd appreciate it if you maybe subscribe and uh, comment down below what you actually dug out of this video until later I will see you somewhere Wait, I'm, I'm have a good one